Today we're going to install an EMP shield on a 2020 Cummins Ram diesel. You're asking yourself what an EMP shield is? You should know. It's an electromagnetic pulse. This is the original one. This is a larger size. This is their new micro. It'll protect your vehicle. It can also protect your home, RV, etc., from power lines down, lightning, or an electromagnetic pulse from an outside source. Those that know, know. We're gonna put this on my truck today. This video will show you step-by-step step how to do it. So here's the original EMP shield right here, right? A little bit bigger. This is the wiring that you'll get with your EMP shield fuse built in, your connectors, your ground, positives and negatives. This is the micro shield. The only difference we have between this one and this one is it's smaller. This one we prepped up. We trimmed these a little bit shorter. We're gonna place it on top of our fuse box, tie in the two, the positive and negative right here, and then we're gonna run our ground all the way to the other side. The only difference between this wiring and this wiring is we put protective loom on it and we heat shrunk right here to keep the terminals protected a little bit better. Shorten these up so that we aren't running or having a bunch of wire out there. Super easy install. My boy Ryan's gonna start doing it right now. We'll walk you through it so that you can do this at home. So on the back side of the EMP shield, you're gonna see there is a stout little thing of Velcro with double-sided sticky tape. So he's just gonna place it right now. We've cleaned the fuse box off, rub, put some rubbing alcohol on there, wiped it down really good. And all you do is just push it down on there and attach it. The 3M double-sided adhesive with the Velcro allows you to take it off, but it is definitely not going to go anywhere. Like I mentioned, we took and shortened up the positive and the negative. So what he's gonna do is take the ground, move it out of the way. There you go. And then right here, he's just gonna run it. He's just running it through the back side there. There's our positive. We're gonna attach the positive right here and the negative right over there. So you're gonna notice first, we're gonna apply the negative terminal. Once you apply the negative, then we're gonna apply the positive. For those who don't know, the positive is the plus sign or the one that's red. So what we're gonna do now is, I have a set of wire loom running along, right along there. All we're gonna do is use zip ties. We're gonna follow that around, and then we're gonna bring this over, put it, and we'll show you where we're gonna put it, ground. Um, but we're just gonna run it nice and cleanly here. This is why I put it inside some loom, just so it's clean and protected. Run it across here, zip tie it up nice and clean, connect the ground, and that's it. So right here, right there, is a factory chassis ground. It's basically a stud that connects to the chassis of the vehicle. They put that threaded little bugger sticking out right there. Attach your ground there. What we're doing is we're running our ground as far away from the negative terminal as possible. Recommended by EMP Shield to do it this way, so we're doing it exactly how they want us to do it. We attached our EMP micro shield here with the double-sided sticky tape and Velcro, so it is removable. We ran our positive and our negative, tied those in, attach your negative first, then your positive. We ran our ground wire over, attached it to the chassis ground from the factory on the far side. Because this is a diesel, we did use the primary battery, not the secondary battery, to attach the EMP shield. All in all, if you were to run it just like this, the install takes you less than 10 minutes. We shortened and put loom on our wire, so maybe another 10 or 15 minutes to set it up. Otherwise, super fast, super quick, and a great way to protect your vehicle. It's just an added layer of protection. 